tonight, and we've got Wayne Dunn. We've got Wayne Dunn. Tonight we've got Wayne Dunn, God bless him. Uh, he's coming on, he's giving us uh, some poetry, some very, very new stuff that he's done, and it's been well admired. And I hope you feel the same way about it. And you've got to listen to poetry because poetry has psychology in it that kind of tears the feelings out of, out of a person and they're able to put them in writing. Right? And Wayne is quite good at that. And you have to listen to what he's saying in his poetry. Sometimes it's a rant, sometimes it's a rave, and sometimes it can be very, very moving stuff. And I think it's good stuff. And I think you'd appreciate it if you listen. After Wayne has finished, I'm coming, going to come on and I'm going to tell a few stories about old times. And then after that, we'll put our hands together, mine included, and we'll introduce the play called The Book. It's a family comedy. It's just kind of bringing us to a little bit of a transition in time, where once the way where Ireland was, where people have added. It's a bit of a farce, it's a bit of a laugh, we hope you enjoy it. Right? So would you please put your hands together, please, for Wayne Dunn. things. Um, it's great to finish work and step on stage to perform, to uh, do what I really like doing. Uh, the great tune singer-songwriter Paul Kniff once flew down from Galway uh, to tune in about 20 minutes to do a gig. I think I may have beaten his record tonight to be here. So, um, I'm going a bit old school with the copy. I haven't um, opened one of these since my school days. Um, firstly, it's a privilege to be asked to read my poems tonight and I'd like to thank Owen Ward and the cast of the production of The Bug for giving me the opportunity to uh, do so. And if I know then, it'll be a sketch anyway, so you're in for a treat. Last time I performed was during the Tume Arts Festival and I scrunched up every piece of paper after I had finished a poem. It was out of nerves, really. But this time I won't be doing that, firstly because I had to go and write them all out again. <laughs> and uh, secondly, what if there's a publisher in the audience and he says, Mr. Dunn, I really like your work, can I copy it? Well, hang on a second, it's in the bin, I'll get it for you. <laughs> so, um, the first poem I'm going to do tonight is called Loveless. And it's about, um, it's sorry, I'll rephrase that. I read a poem called Loveless for the Arts Festival gig. And that's about uh, waiting for the right person and not settling for someone for the sake of it. Now I really should practice what I preach because this first poem is about a relationship I was in where it dragged on and both of us were not happy but stayed in it for the sake of it. So I'm not really listening to my own advice. But um, you, can't someone make so you can't make someone happy if they are not. And Tom Dunn, a lead singer of Something Happens, once wrote on an album sleeve, if you didn't want me to write songs, in this case, a poem about you, well then why weren't you nicer to me? <laughs> <laughs> My first poem is called All at Sea. I've tasted the tears every night that you'd cry of too many years spent living a lie. I tried to steal it away like some common thief and banish it from you, your own personal grief. And thoughts of your past that take up your time make you curl up in a ball and overdose on wine. So wear that pretty smile, wear it as a disguise, the truth I have uncovered behind those hazel eyes. I'll comfort you in sorrow and I'll hold you in despair. My patience is growing thin like the lightness of your hair. So pick up the pieces and make them fit. It's easier leave than it's to commit. Always thought you'd see the best in me. You live in on land, but you're all at sea. You've touched the surface, but not the core of me. You're what I want, but not what I need. Thank you. The second poem I'm going to read is about a work night out we had in Halo Nightclub in Galway. There was a group of drunken lads um, chatting up anything that moved, uh, wearing check shirts, you know the type that think uh, how you fixed is a plausible chat up line. And there was a few rugby heads there as well, the type that think, oh I play rugby, 
disposable chat up line. And then there's a few suits there as well, and they're the type that think, oh, I earn a hundred grand a year, and they use that as a chat up line. So one of the girls on our line, she's very beautiful, and um, try as they may, they weren't getting anywhere with her. So I was watching all this play out, and um, gave me an idea for this poem, it's quite humorous. Uh, it's called The Mainstreamers and Me. The hunters are gathering in shirts that stink of beer. One approaches a lady and comments on her rear. Most people call it ignorance. He calls it trying his case. In a field he feels at home, but in a city he's out of place. The suits hang by the bar and they target easy prey. The lady who's overindulged becomes the easy lay. A beauty in a black dress is immune to their advances. I watch in amusement as they drool while she dances. <laughs> this nightclub is filling up, many suitors to win her heart. She's the star in her own movie, they're just extras playing a bit part. The barmen call time and end this cat and mouse chase. While the scans finish their pints, their target leaves with haste. They're great at being false, but I'm better at being me. They sell her cheap chat up lines while my honesty is free. I will wait for her patiently and she will find out in time I'm no pretender to the throne of the queen of the production line. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to leave you with a poem called Porcelain Doll. It's, um, this is going to make you cry, so I hope there's tissues in the house. Um, it's very loosely based on two girls' tragic stories that uh, shocked me. They were never shown any love, just treated badly by family members and people close to them. I grew up in a house full of love, so I can't stress how important your upbringing shapes you as a person. I'd also like to dedicate it to those girls in Ipswich that were cruelly taken from this world. To a lot of people, i.e. the press, they were just known as drug addicts or prostitutes. They were never anybody's daughter. These girls were shown no love. And um, the Beatles once wrote a song and the lyrics were, all you need is love. So uh, for every little girl or every girl that suffers with abuse or that suffers at home or elsewhere, I'm going to dedicate it to those. Thank you. It's called uh, Porcelain Doll. You're like a porcelain doll without a voice and no say. When offered a kiss and a cuddle, you tense up and you shy away. Never shown love or affection. A teen so rebellious and wild. Your answer to being beaten and abused by dad as a child. No confidence. No self-worth, no one to hear your screams. Your innocence taken so cruelly, turned aspirations into pipe dreams. Good parent in front on the outside, different story beyond the hall door. The tears you shed in the bedroom, your mother uses to polish the floor. With a head bursting with worry, and a heart just waiting to break, you run for your life, literally. A decision you're forced to make. In the city now living in squalor, under blankets tattered and worn, your once pretty face now aging, depicting the life that you've known. Three days after going missing, they discover your body in bed, naked and stripped of all dignity, a cruel plight for being easily led. A cold winter breeze is blowing as I stoop to lay by your grave. I wish I could wrap you in love, a feeling you longed for and craved. Thanks a lot, Jim.